Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Olichi. I am a Nigerian based in Istanbul, Turkey. If this is your first time seeing my face, hi, you're welcome to my channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back to the channel. So in today's video, it's a skincare related video. I know I have a full face with one, but yeah, yeah. Today's video is a skincare related video and this video is just basically acne mistakes that i did when i had acne still do some of them right now but i'm a bit cautious of it before i get into it yes i took acutane for my acne the first mistake that i made when i had acne was popping my acne and i used to press it out like, for some people it's very good like they enjoy popping pimples but it is not a good habit to do because first it leads to hyperpigmentation once you bust out that thing it dries down and gives you a spot like it's spot and you now have to treat it later on secondly popping it might lead to infection and bacterials and the pus that you come out from the pimple when it's pressed might spread to other unaffected areas. These bacteria or infections can also occur when your hands are dirty, when popping the pimple, or the equipment you use, like the extractor pimple presser you use, is contaminated. So that's when like you tend to spread infections. So that's why I don't like popping pimples. And aside from that, it also makes your face red. Like after you finish popping, okay, I have a really sensitive or acne prone skin so whenever i pop pimple like my face turns red instead of popping your pimple you can get those pimple patch thing that they have i will set it on the screen or you can put like you can get like a spot um, treatment for acne i know neutrogena has something like that but you can get like a pimple spot um, cream for it don't use toothpaste on it yes that is another thing i used to use toothpaste on my acne just to dry it down don't use toothpaste on it it's very bad there is a drying lotion by mario badeski you can also use that i'll try checking for the ointments my dermatologist gave me for pimple another thing is using products that are alcohol based like those alcohol based products tend to dry out your skin so there is this um face toner i think it's a witch hazel face toner it looks like this it has a lot of alcohol in it, but most of the dermatologists don't even like using toners. They like recommending toners to you because you have to find like one that doesn't have the alcohol or is not too drying on your skin. So you should try removing that um, drying agents from your skincare routine because they dry up the excess oil. I know that you say, okay, because I have oily skin, I want to dry up the oil on my face. That's stripping away all the oils on your face. There are some oils that are necessary for your face to feel alive so you don't need to strip away every oil on your face so those type of products are really dangerous to your skin another tip is not using an active ingredient that fights acne when people ask me for skincare recommendations i tell them to first treat their skin from acne before you treat the hyperpigmentation because you can't fight <clears throat> multiple battles at the same time first sort out your acne situation then you fix your hyperpigmentation so for acne like ingredients for acne you should look out for are salicylic acid you can also get retinoid or try try to know it, something like that those vitamin a supplement things yes you can also use isalic acid. You can also use benzoyl peroxide. Yes. So those are the ingredients that you should use when fighting acne. Then after your acne goes, then you can now start treating for hyperpigmentation. Okay. So the next point is using body towels or using towels on my face. So I know that a lot of people tend to use their face body towel on their face, but I can't do that. I can't do body towel or any type of towel on my face right now because the bacteria on your towel is what you finish like finish washing your face and you clean your face with it i know it doesn't make sense because you still use it to clean your body and you can see ah, my body is clean my face is clean but 
for myself i have really sensitive face my body can adapt to anything but my face tends to break out it's really sensitive so i don't use my body towel on my face so the best substitutes that i use are paper towels if i don't have paper towel when i'm washing my face i just leave it to air dry i don't use any towel on it so make sure you skip that step for the guys they can get away with it because guys really do the minimum and your skin is popping but as a girl our skin is sensitive especially if you have a like, sensitive face stay away from using your body too well on your face the next point is introducing active ingredients too fast for instance i mentioned the active ingredients you should use on your face salicylic acid benzoyl peroxide yes but don't try using salicylic acid and benzoyl peroxide together like those those are ingredients are like very harsh i even recommend you start with like the lowest percent like for your skin to get used to it instead of like bombarding it with a lot of ingredients try one like keep your skincare routine very basic so there was a period in i think that was maybe 2016 or thereabouts i used to use acne.org so acne.org has a glycolic um, cream i think it's a cream yeah so imagine washing my face i'll not put glycolic cream I still put benzol on top that was a lot of ingredients on my face even if you want to treat you don't need to use all the ingredients you can even switch it off maybe today you use salicylic acid then tomorrow you use benzol or you use benzol twice a week salicylic three times a week stuff like that so don't use too much ingredients i know sometimes we, it can be overwhelming when you have like acne on your face so you want to try this you want to try this you want to try this you're not giving your face enough time to adapt to get used to the products like for the products to work you are just like bombarding it with too much things so it's not going to work like that so reduce your active ingredients that you're going to be using on your face then the next point i have is over cleansing your skin so i would say i i used to have oily skin so anytime i come back from like when i was an undergrad when i go to school before going to school in the morning i'll wash my face apply my every every put on makeup do everything sometimes i don't even put on makeup but i will do all my skincare steps go to school come back in the afternoon still wash my face before i like do anything i want to do then at night again i'll still wash my face so i did not know that that was too harsh over cleansing my face i just felt ah, i need my face to be clean sometimes your face is not dirty you just need to take clean it like morning and night as of myself i just do morning and night so sometimes i don't even wash that much like if you do a good night skincare routine you don't need to do too much in the morning except maybe like you went out with makeup in the daytime and you want to take it off and have a nap and stuff or you're not going out then yeah you just wash your face if you're not going out after you get back from like school or from work you don't need to wash your face again at night so once you get back take off the makeup wash it do your night um, skincare and that should be it so don't over stress your skin by washing it too much then another point that i have is not using sunscreen anytime anyone asks me oh what can i use for my face and the first question i ask them is are you using sunscreen you have to use sunscreen and i know for people of color we tend to assume that we don't need sunscreen but yeah we do need sunscreen oh i don't need to use sunscreen like during summer i used to be like three shades darker than how i look like now <laughs> so yeah use sunscreen sunscreen is going to help your hyperpigmentation and you don't have to use like a lot of products to treat it and you also need to reapply your sunscreen like after every three hours yeah you can get the spray one so that you can reapply another point is over exfoliating so if you don't know it, exfoliating they have the chemical and the physical exfoliant and personally i use both of them it depends so the normal chemical exfoliant that I use like every day is salicylic acid because that one is not like too harsh on the skin. But if you're going to be using a stronger one like the glycolic acid or the lactic acid, you should try using them maybe two or three times a week. Even salicylic acid, if you're just starting off, you can start using it two times or three times in a week compared to using it every day. For physical exfoliants, that is like your scrub, 
as I stated, my body is not that sensitive, but I don't over exfoliate it. If for my body, I scrub my body maybe once in a week, for my face, I don't really like putting like those scrubs on my face. But even if I'm doing that, it will be like the day I'm scrubbing my body and I just apply a little on my face and that is all. However, if you have like acne on your face, like fresh acne, like pimple are popping, don't do the physical exfoliants, don't use scrub on your face. Using scrub on your face just makes your pores larger and those sugar things can enjoy you scarring and all those things. So if you have like acne on your face, don't do that. Like if you know your skin is really sensitive, like if you scrub with a physical exfoliant, it's going to irritate your skin. Don't exfoliate with sugar scrub or body scrub or any type of scrub. Instead, use a chemical exfoliant. Those ones are really gentle on the skin. But I like, try to make your skin get used to it. Don't just use it every day. Try it maybe like give it a one one day interval. And the worst of all is when you do chemical exfoliants and you scrub. Yeah, try not to do too much or exfoliate your face too much. Okay, the next one is maxing. And the maxing I'm talking about is like the max that we do DIY ourselves. You know, like those turmeric max, the yogurt max, the charcoal max like yeah the maxes are good but let's leave our, our kitchen ingredients for the kitchen don't get me wrong you can do the turmeric max thing i still put turmeric in my body scrub you can do that but don't do it like a habit like it's not every day that you have to be applying it on your face personally i just think turmeric lightens the skin as it says but i don't like the yellow tint it leaves on your skin so those type of things builds up like layers on your like stains on your face so if you are not even exfoliating like chemical exfoliation your skin still has like turmeric on it so i would highly suggest you stop maxing like with kitchen ingredients like all those coffee and stuff yeah if you even want if it's necessary for you to max you can use the sheet max i use the sheet max just for extra hydration it doesn't do anything fantastic on the face just gives you that moisture you can also do like a, a climax. So you can use that climax if your face is like very oily. I can't remember when last I maxed my face. I only use most, I mostly use sheet max on my face. I don't use those climax anymore because currently my skin is going through some stuff. Like my T-zone area is like, if you see my forehead, my forehead is like dry. Like I have dry skin. On my forehead so i don't want to do any maxing on my face pipe down on the maxing especially like your diy maxing pipe down okay the next one is not moisturizing your skin enough so i have oily skin and i used to think that as an oily skin person i'm not supposed to put moisturizer or face oil on my face but that is a myth it doesn't work like that instead your skin needs more moisture so that your the dry your skin doesn't get dry and it irritates your skin so just give it like a balance like i use the CeraVe lotion even when i use the moisturizer i still try using like face oil on my face so don't get that notion that as a an oily skin person you don't need moisturizer that's a lie you need moisturizer another important tip for people that love wearing makeup is washing your makeup brushes make sure you wash your brushes like don't leave your brush for like two to three weeks before you wash it if you're always wearing your makeup you should wash your brushes okay for instance i keep my brush in a brush holder like this dust can accumulate on the brush without me knowing even if i store them in the bag and as far as they are dirty they can build mold in them so yeah try to wash your makeup brushes it's really important even your makeup sponge try washing all those things then if you also use makeup check if your makeup is expired throw away your expired makeup i will try putting up a video on how to check for expired makeup so try throw throw out your expired makeup yes makeup expires you're supposed to use like a foundation for at least one year at most if it's expired it can cause irritation on your skin especially like your foundation all those ones that you have to like press into your skin yeah so make sure you check that out that can also be 
something that is causing your acne issues. A major thing for me is washing your towels, pillowcase, and bed sheet every week. Like for myself, I wash my pillowcase and bed sheet like every every week. You have to wash those ones because, for instance, like your your pillowcase. When you take a shower, do your nighttime routine, you climb on the bed, you sleep on it for like five days or six days. All those skincare products are on your pillow. So yeah, you want to swap them. You can also like, if you have the time, you can swap it three times in a week, depending on you. But at most, every week, try changing your pillowcases. These are just a few mistakes that I can't remember that I have done. Some of them still occur because I'm not, I'm human, I'm not a god, so mistakes happened but yeah this is something that you should know about so yeah that's the end of this video guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you give me a thumbs up make sure you like share subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye guys <laughs>